An effort to keep Donald Trump off the ballot in Michigan's 2024 presidential primary election has failed. The decision is a setback for a growing legal movement attempting to keep the former president out of the Oval Office by removing people's ability to vote for him altogether. We're going to walk down to the Capitol because you'll never take back our country with weakness. You have to show strength and you have to be strong. Remember that? Well, a nonprofit called Free Speech for People certainly does. The group filed lawsuits in Michigan and Minnesota claiming that Trump is disqualified from serving as president under the 14th Amendment because of his role in the January 6th insurrection. According to Section 3 of that amendment, anyone who has pledged to defend the Constitution, like a person who took the presidential oath of office, and then engaged in insurrection or rebellion, or gave aid or comfort to the enemies thereof. So go home. We love you. You're very special. Is prohibited from holding public office. Free Speech for People believes that Trump's actions and inaction fit the bill. But on November 14th, a Michigan judge concluded that whether Trump violated the 14th Amendment is up to Congress. He added that as far as Michigan law is concerned, the former president has legally qualified to be on the state's primary ballot next year and will stay there. And the Minnesota Supreme Court made a similar decision the week before. A Colorado judge hearing a parallel suit filed by a different group is still considering whether Trump will be listed on the 2024 presidential primary ballot there. But it feels like the writing is on the wall. Removing Trump's name from ballots and putting his supporters in a timeout isn't going to get the job done. It's going to take active voter outreach and turnout next year to beat Trump in 2024 and preserve democracy in the process.